Hello, welcome to this quick shoulder mobility routine. Today's quick stretch is gonna help to improve your posture by increasing the mobility and flexibility of the shoulder joints. I'm Jessie McMaster, holistic fitness trainer and certified body worker, here to share tools that empower you to take your health into your own hands so you can feel strong and confident in your body as you move through life. For today's movement practice, we are gonna do this standing because most of the time we are getting tension in our shoulders, our upper back and our neck because we're seated for a long time, maybe driving or sitting at a computer. So I want you to take a break from seated and come up to standing. Now, if you prefer to do this seated or you need to stay seated for whatever reason, you could absolutely do the sequence in your chair. Take a moment to prepare your space. We are going to be stretching our arms out, so make sure you're not gonna bump into anything. If you're standing, open up your stance to about shoulder distance with those feet. And we're gonna start with shoulder circles. Take your hands to your shoulders, elbows together in the front. Let's draw a big circle. Circle up, back, down, and around. Let's repeat that. Big inhales, you circle forward and up, and big exhales, you circle back and down two more times. Find the range of motion that feels appropriate for your shoulders. And then we're gonna reverse, let's go the other way. So pull the elbows back and up, and then forward and down. Do that again. Biggest circle that you can make with your elbows. Connecting your movement with your breath, creating space in that shoulder joint. Finish that last circle, take the arms out to the sides, flip your right thumb down, keep the shoulders down. So it's okay to lower the arms if you need to. Roll the head to the left. Big inhale through your nose, big open mouth exhale. And we'll switch sides, right thumb up, left thumb down, roll your head to the right, big inhale through your nose, the best that you can. Big exhale. Let's do that again, switching sides. Remember your neck is connected to your shoulders, so creating space between the jawline and your collarbone and switch again, take a breath. All right, bring it back to center. Now we're gonna start to draw a figure eight with our arms. And if you're standing with me, put a little bend in your knees. Notice how I'm getting my whole body into the movement. Leading with your thumbs, big breath really swinging the arms you can open up your stance a little bit just loosening up creating space through the shoulder joint think about the movement really coming from your ribs your ribs and core is controlling the movement allowing it to really flow now we're going to reverse go the other way and this time you're leading with your pinky fingers big inhale big exhale you can make them as big or small as you need to What's most important is that you're listening to your body, finding your range of motion. One more big figure eight, and then bring it back to center. Whew. Take the arms wide again. We're gonna flip the right thumb down, bring the back of the right hand to the back, left arm up and pat yourself on the back. Shoulders down, let the elbows reach in opposite directions as you press your head back. You just find what's comfortable for you. Let's take a big breath and then release, carefully release the arms. Other side, so left thumb down as we bring the hand behind the back, right arm up, you're gonna pat yourself on the back. Make sure the shoulders are down. Lift your heart, let the elbows reach in opposite directions. And release, take the arms wide, we're gonna do it again. So the back of the right hand to the lower back, snuggle it in. Pat yourself on the back with the left hand. Now, if your fingers touch, you can clasp the fingers behind you, but that's really not the goal here. I want you to keep your shoulders down and press your head back so the elbows are reaching. Relax your face, relax your jaw, and we're gonna switch again. Be careful through that transition. If you need to go a little slower, that's okay. Last one here, take a breath. And then release the arms. One more stretch for this little routine. So arms are wide, and then we're gonna cross right elbow on top of left elbow. Now you can do a single wrap like this, and we really wanna try to hook above the elbow joint, make sure the shoulders are down, or double wrap by bending that top elbow and then bringing your palms to touch. We call these eagle arms in the yoga world. Shoulders are down, think about your elbows pressing down and scooping away. You can do this with the double wrap or the single wrap. Now, if you feel good and you wanna go a little further, go ahead and fold either halfway down 
or all the way over. And whatever you choose, you can draw a little figure eight with your elbows. Take a breath. Pressing through the feet, come on up. Open the arms and shake it out. We got one more side here. So big arms, and then we're gonna wrap. Left elbow on top of right. Single or double wrap, you get to choose. Press the elbows down, scoop them away from the chest. Round into your upper back a little bit and draw a figure eight. Remember, you find what feels good. Listen to your breath, listen to your body. One more. And then release the arms. Go ahead and give them a little shake. Shake those arms out a little more. Shake your wrists out. We want to get all the tension that we pulled out of the shoulders and the chest. Get it out of the fingertips. So shake out the wrists like there's flies everywhere. You're trying to shoo those flies away. Take a big breath. And then take a hand to your heart. If you want, the other hand can come to your belly. Take a moment. Take a breath. Let that mobility, that flexibility really soak into the body. Give yourself a little smile, even if it's a fake smile. Tell yourself, thank you. Thank you for this gift, this short little stretch for your upper body, for your shoulders. One more big breath, lift your heart. And you are complete. If you found this video helpful, please help me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel for more holistic fitness tips. Thank you so much for sharing your time and sharing this practice with me today.